Hello, my name's Toby Thompson. I'm here today with Jose Mendoza, a DBA student here at Cranford. Jose, you're looking at uh, premium brand pricing, pricing models. You're working with Paul Baines here at Cranford. Tell us more about pricing and premium pricing. Yes, my interest is uh, besides on how do you price premium brands. More than that is about how premium consumers will perceive premium prices, premium prices in different contexts. For example, it's very well known that people change their price perception based on time of the day, on location, and many other contextual factors. So uh, the, the idea is to develop a contextual uh, or a segmentation model based on contextual price, uh, price, uh, price perception. And uh, by doing that, I believe that I can capture where are the, uh, the, the best time and places where the marketeers can you know, focus their uh, marketing efforts for the consumer and try to reach them up uh, in a better way. We were talking earlier and you were saying that you're working in this area anyway. You're already in this, uh, this area. Yes. Tell us about how your, your research ties in with your work. Yes, I, uh, I started a brand consultancy company in New York back in June. So it's, 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 it's a startup company and we're working with uh, premium brands. But I've been, I have been related with uh, premium brands uh, since the year 2000, working on branding and also working on strategic marketing. And pricing, especially now more than ever, never before, uh, ever before, uh, pricing is becoming one of the most important variables of the marketing mix, especially after the recession. Everybody's looking at pricing. So it's a, ve a very relevant topic, uh, what I chose. And uh, I do believe that there is a lot of uh, research to be done in the area of premium price perception. I was going to ask, because you seem to know an awful lot about it, and you've been in that field for 10 years, and yet you're doing a DBA. Why, why a DBA, why not a PhD? Why any sort of study? It's a, it, this is a very good question, because uh, the, the beauty of the DBA is that you can mix your experience as a practitioner with some academic work, in, uh, in, with the idea of doing some research using the research methodology. I found that the PhD is, is too, too academic for me, and uh, I already have an MBA that is very practitioner for me. So the DBA fits very well in, in the middle, in my case, where I want to apply uh, my findings in my research work to my work uh, from a company in brand consultancy. So you don't go back as a researcher, you go back able to ask more serious questions, more appropriate questions around your topics. So. Exactly, and also researching about uh, how consumers perceive premium prices. Uh, so, you know, all the premium brands can do a more effective marketing of their, 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 their brands based on pricing. Your supervisor is Paul Baines. Yes. Uh, tell us more about that supervisory process. How does it work for you? This is a, it is great working with Paul Baines. He has a lot of experience. Uh, he's an expert. Uh, he just published uh, the second edition of his book uh, recently. And uh, he knows uh, a lot. Uh, he's also very interested in the topic as well. Uh, the best part about working with Paul is that he's an expert on segment segmentation. And part of my research is, uh, is on price-based segmentation or premium price-based segmentation, where Paul is, is an expert in the, in the area. He wrote a chapter on pricing in the, in the marketing book. So you're in good hands by the sound of it? I believe so. And in terms of your peers then, are the peers that you're working with on the DBA cohort, are they helping you out with this? Yes, yes, I believe so. It's, uh, it's a feeling I have. So they're helping you, they're asking questions, they're challenging you. Why, Jose, why are you doing this? Why are you not doing that? I don't understand this, that sort of thing. Yeah, exactly. Brilliant. Yes. And so someone thinking about, maybe they're in the pricing area, premium brand pricing area, thinking about doing a DBA, what would your advice to them be? It, I, I believe that the DBA is the continuation of someone who has a, a lot of experience in the field. I want to do some, some kind of research, perhaps going the academic way. But in my, in, my, in my vision, it's more going on the consulting way uh, or try to be a top practitioner in, in, a, in a particular area. So if you've got a new idea, maybe the DBA isn't for you. You need to be in that field already, you're saying. It, it, it's the belief that I have that you can make the most out of it if you, ha if you have work experience and there is a research topic that interests you. Uh, and then you come for a DBA and get all the, all the tools 
and the support to develop as a researcher. Uh, is, is, I mean, this is, this is my case, this is my experience. So five years hence, where do you see yourself? Doing consultancy, uh, more specifically uh, consulting on pricing for global premium brands. Yeah. Brilliant. Jose Mendoza, thank you very much indeed for your time today. Thank you.